friends what's up we're gonna talk about the full moon in aries uh this morning i had the most beautiful meditation session with my good friend sienna hassett she is a movement artist she is an enneagram specialist she is so many things and this morning i me and her did a um, meditation together where I improved a full moon Aries meditation and then she improved some movement uh, to go along with some breath work. Mm, it turned out really good. I think I want to share it with you guys so I might post that as a separate video. If I do, it's over there. I'll be there. <laughs> um, it was just so good, but um, I'll talk about the premise a little bit because we are going to talk about the full moon in Aries right now. Think about Aries. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, ruling the first house, the house of identity, ego. Mm, Aries, six months ago, we were in the new moon in Aries at the time of spring. And now it's harvest season, it's fall. We got the full moon in Aries. And so I really associate Aries with the seed, an image of a seed. Imagine all the power needed for a seed to burst open. That is energy for taking action, injection of inspiration, passion, it can be frustration. And so that's springtime. Now fast forward to today or whenever you're watching this about the full moon in Aries happening October 9th it's the kind of frustration possibly or celebration of the harvest of everything that we've done this summer we've done over the last six months so uh, my friend Anna Crystal who I'm seeing on retreat this week she calls it radical responsibility to look around and be like yeah I fucking did that you know it's taking stock of not only your agency in your life, of how you've been able to create the change that you want to see, how your life has moved forward, what you're reaping from what you've sown. Maybe also some lessons about ego and how we did that. How did you get to your ends? If you have not reached your end, what have you learned about your process? What have you learned about who you are in the context of the things that you want and the people that you're in relationship with in your life. This isn't stuff to scoff at, I feel like. This full moon Aries is delivering some very powerful medicine if you choose to work with it. So let's get some messages. I'm using the Moonology deck. Thank you. New moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. full moon that's today surrender to the divine and north node step out of your comfort zone we have north node messages so this is you know some people will say destiny predestiny uh, north node is like your mission in this life so what is it that is your mission in life and how is it coming to a head Where we, oh, hmm, the new moon in Virgo is interesting. A time to give rather than take. Virgo is the sign of service, sign of service and assessment and health. Have we been taking more than we are giving? Let's see what the cards have to say. Eek. Um, well, We got the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Eek. Eek, 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 eek. It's saying, yes, we have been taking more than we have been giving. And it's time to stop. Oh boy. Do I really want to be loud right now? Uh, it's time to uh, stop taking so much. It's time to give back. You are enough. Some people have been trying too hard. 
and it's resulted in some um, resentment about not um, I see in my mind somebody trying to offer something and it not being received something is not being received hmm. maybe for some people there's conflict about this idea of time to give rather than take I can hear some people saying I've been trying to give I've been trying to give and they won't take it. I don't know who that's for, but let's see what, what the other stuff has to say, the other cards. We have the Four of Swords, the Magician, the King of Wands. The Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, the Moon, Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like some people have tried to do a lot with what they have i think that's fine you are powerful right I, I see that here with the with the king of wands and the magician uh you are powerful but have you been manifesting magician being manifesting power or working with the elements working with what you have has it made you a bit um power hungry mm, or just that like so so fixed so there's like such a fixed energy in this reading um i think there's a little bit of resistance to doing things differently um because there i see avoidance of something that's painful there's something that's that there's some sort of avoidance of of pain here and it's almost like we're using our will to overcome a painful situation um, honestly it appears as though somebody may be avoiding a painful situation by simply saying like the magician says it is not a part of my reality I create my reality that's great that's you're you're, you're feeling self-empowered but I, I just want to Put that caveat out there that there is some noise there's some resistance to moving on because of not moving on moving on or looking directly at this change or this fearful thing this painful thing i don't know that we know i like i don't know what this is about I don't know what it, this is just sort of energetics of the cards but what I see definitely is that there is this is potentially because we don't see alternatives there may not be an alternative viewpoint to seeking help I when there's pain and there's fear there's like a lashing out of, of maybe trying to control or something and I think what the the invitation here is to realize that we can't control everything and that we need to define our needs what is it that you need right now you're manifesting something that is hurting you because you don't yet understand that the subconscious manifests more than the conscious mind. So it's time to work on the subconscious. This is definitely, definitely really important message for somebody. The kind of avoidance that's here on the table is sort of like 
if I ignore it, if I leave it alone, it will fix itself. But then I also, so I see two things. I see ignoring the problem. And then I also see like lots of activity and manifestation in the opposite direction. We're not really sitting with what's here in front of us. What's here in front of us is the desire to change, uh, potentially something that is hurtful, right? Like we're, we're bruising ourselves a little bit. And then there's also a multitude of possibilities for the future. So I would say for this message, take a look into your subconscious and figure out what is it saying to you? What, what is the avoidant behavior telling you? And what is the overactivity um, and your desire for, for manifesting whatever that is, whatever you are working on right now? Why is it not working? Why is, what, why is the subconscious showing up as something that you need to study and work on, um, understand better? It's because you need to understand your needs. There's, you have unmet needs. So going back to the earlier message, remember when I heard somebody say, well, I have been trying to give and they won't take it. They're not, this, this is actually saying time to give to yourself rather than take. Sometimes we treat ourselves, our minds, our bodies, our spirit as indestructible and just full of energy that could be exploited. This is partially self-talk. This is partially, you know, our own, you know, how we see ourselves as like strong and capable. Again, great. That, you know, to some extent, that's self, there, it's showing me that you're self-empowered in some ways. Uh, but also I feel like there is a... Uh, something about like self-exploitation, like taking yourself a little bit too far. Um, there could be burnout. There could be just in general needs that are not being met that you need to focus on right now. And with the North Node showing up here, it's like this is supposed to be on your path. This is supposed to happen for you to realize that there's something deeper. All right, show me the five of pentacles. Oh, my leg is asleep. Shit. The lovers. Yeah, that card's been showing up a lot too. It's all within you. Ouch. But you don't see it. Okay, I need to take a break. Oh my gosh, my leg fell asleep in the worst possible way. That was awful. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so I clarified the Five of Pentacles. We have the Lovers and the Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. This is definitely for somebody who doesn't see yet their situation very clearly. Um, you're trying to manifest from a situation where you don't believe that you um, can overcome this. Uh, I think it's because you're, you're looking externally for something that is actually within you. You have what it takes to fulfill yourself. Oh man, this is really, you gotta check out the weekly video too because I feel like this is really, it's not, it's not the same message but it's very much aligned with it. Show me the Seven of Cups. The Empress, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Right? There's movement. And the so the knight and the knight of pentacles and the knight of cups and the empress. That as a combo, it's sort of saying like integrate. Look at all this. There's a lot that's happened. And there's a lot that can happen. To properly manifest from the subconscious, you need to embody and feel as in put out with your heart the things you want to your life to grow into the things that you want you know grow because i have the empress here infinite possibilities but so long as you have unmet needs your subconscious is going to run amok and it's not going to bring you the things that you desire i feel like it's saying slow down change your ways really integrate like somatically integrate 
the things that have happened over the last six months, over the last two weeks. Sit with it for a while. Sit with the things that you have nurtured. These are like the seeds, right? Everything that has been sown, everything that you're collecting now, take radical responsibility for what's in your life. And finally, show me the King of Wands. The Chariot, the Two of Wands, Judgment. Judgment is that assessment again. It's a crossroads. To me, this is sort of like saying, okay, I can see myself more clearly now. I can see my situation more clearly. I'm going to make a plan for how to move forward from this. But you see how it starts with that baseline of assessment. And it requires, I think, a very realistic sort of lens into your situation. Maybe you have been holding on to things like grief. Maybe there's painful situations in your life that have transpired that aren't totally being processed. Sometimes we don't even know what this shit is. Sometimes it's just in your body, you know, because it, it, it's really showing up strongly that this is in, in the subconscious here. I think that you do know that you need to change something. Um, and it may be frightening because you don't know what's on the other side. But I think if you can claim this, you know, claiming this Three of Swords energy, which is like people call the heartbreak card. But this is where I see a little bit of that pain. It's like, it's sort of like growing pains. We get bruised a little bit. But it's going to be okay. So the Three of Swords in, in some ways calls for bravery. Okay. Yeah, these week's greetings were intense. And I felt that leading up to recording these because there was something about just like me having a lot to do um, in preparation for a trip that I'm taking um, and like other things that are going on. And then also, you know, just like layers on layers and layers of energy. And one of those layers um, has been that there is some difficult energy to work with this week. Um, don't worry, it's gonna be all good. It's gonna be all good, because you're here, you're doing the work, uh, you're receiving the messages, you're thinking about it, spend some time in meditation, unlock that subconscious. Better yet, come on retreat with us. Uh, we're gonna be talking about rituals, day-to-day um, -day stuff. Right? How did how does day? This was a message from the uh, the weekly. How does your day to day support the larger philosophy of your life, the larger mission of your life? Be very intentional about how you proceed. <laughs> Yikes! Some serious shit this week. Sorry to to go down on that um, with you all today, but um, I think it's important. So yeah, definitely check out the recommended listening, the vibe out, let me know what you think of the video, and I'll see you on the next one.